Hey loves, welcome back. So today I am giving you guys another video. Um, a little something I want to talk to y'all about. Um, I don't know if you're aware now if you've been reading the description. I said that I was going to start up this mini series where I talk to you guys about ways to improve on life. Um, when I say improve on life, I'm talking about financial wise and being able to have something to leave behind for your kids or having something to grow old with and having something to pass along and pass down. That financial freedom and that financial wealth that we all need in this day and age especially um if you're anything like me then yes it, it's all for the kids i'm gonna do the hard work so when my babies get older hopefully they have learned something and they'll continue up you know some of the business i don't know if you guys seen my last episode um regarding credit right um I basically went into details about how you can improve your score and how you can make your score rise within six months to a year. You can raise your score easily by 200 points or more. If you didn't see that video, make sure you go ahead and click here and go check that video out. Then come back and see this video, okay? In that video, I also discussed how I feel about cars, right? What I would like to shed some light on is learning how to do things a little differently when it comes to automobiles and vehicles right so as you know everybody needs a car they need a car to get to work everybody needs a car to get the kids to school you need cars to drive around and get to doctor's appointments and i mean it's essential pretty much it's pretty essential um but again that doesn't mean you have to have the latest model okay um what i was thinking that i would like to share with you guys is when it comes to cars or when it comes to vehicles, why don't you consider options like the fact that each and every state, I think it's each and every state, but I know here in Tennessee, um, you are required to have what? Insurance, exactly. So let's think on the other side of the vehicle for a second. You could become an insurance agency um, or an insurance seller, retailer for cars so you can be just like the big wigs or you can be just like some of these bigger companies that are out there you too can offer insurance or automobile insurance to drivers in need especially the youth because they are coming up and as you know it is very expensive um so yes when you're thinking above and beyond think about how you can offer car insurance perhaps to drivers of the world like i said everybody needs insurance and everybody is looking for a good deal everybody needs a cheaper rate and everybody needs some really good insurance so um you can look into ways of opening or starting your own business with that okay i am going to go into detail in this video with uh some of the details and some of the facts on how you can start your own automobile insurance company so if you would like to learn more go ahead and subscribe now and stay tuned Okay, so one of the first things that you want to look into doing or look into obtaining is a casualty property insurance license. Um, these are, these vary from state to state, of course. So, of course, whatever state you are in, you want to look up the requirements and the registration fees for that. Unfortunately, I don't have each and every state um, together, but I'll try to link down below where you can find the information and you know get the ball kind of started for you okay just in case if you're interested in it so just like with any business um you also want to go ahead and construct you a really thorough business plan um you can find business plans that are already pre-made online and you can just go through it pretty much tells you um what you can do and how you can do it or what you need to plug into the slots or whatnot and if you're not familiar with where to find a business plan or if you need help finding a business plan i do have one um that i can upload for you guys and you can take a look at it and you're welcome to download it and use it fill it in you know as you go and just kind of get yourself started okay and get yourself familiar with making business plans especially if you're going into the business world or the business realm okay thirdly or secondly because we all know we need a business plan from the beginning okay um because this is considered a corporate idea or a big idea this is not just a small business idea i mean we we're thinking bigger scale here okay so um you want to go ahead and obtain insurance so that you will be able to offer collision liability 
motorist insurance and you have um, uninsured motorist multi-vehicle discounts um, all of those things that you want to think about that pretty much you're already getting under your particular policy so you want to think about your policy details and get each one outlined so that you can thoroughly go over them when you are marketing to your clients or customers okay um, you don't necessarily have to have a building to run such a business or operation as you can see um, there's plenty of ways to do things online now um, online is the way to go you know um, of course word of mouth and face-to-face -face is always always good you know so you can start with that locally at your own hometown or whatnot but having it online would also be like really really beneficial and really helpful for those of us who are out of town or out of state who would like to get your particular insurance um also another idea that you guys can think about if you don't want to start up your own or start from scratch with building your own company or if it's too complicated or whatnot um you can look into buying other insurance agencies like others that are going out of business or that are looking for somebody to take over that they pretty much are done with they've already got the clientele they already got the customers and they're basically ready to just let it go for whatever reason you know you can look into buying those and using those to give you a heads up and you can already pretty much have your foot in the door and get the ball rolling immediately okay and when it comes to your business plan of course you'll see in there it'll give you um, ideas to think about regarding finances and how much it'll cost to actually start up um, your company what type of investment funds you need and what type of backup money you're gonna need because you're also gonna need to be able to pay out for these claims that people file hopefully you're gonna have nothing but good drivers on your team you know but unfortunately as we know life happens so you have to be able to get in there and take care of those cases worst case scenarios okay so once you got all your funding and everything figured out as far as how you're gonna finance it and how you're gonna cover those charges and how you're gonna cover claims and whatnot then you want to go ahead and get your business license and make sure you are also insured as well that's it pretty much that's it in a nutshell now all you have to do is the hard part market <laughs> you have to get yourself out there you have to tell people who you are you have to let people know where you are you have to let them know what you're doing there are several ways to get yourself out there there's several ways to market um you can of course do online advertising such as google ads facebook instagram uh tv commercials radio commercials the sky's the limit there's so many ways that you can market and advertise your business of course again you have word of mouth you got all of your family members that you can start with and uh there's also billboards you know so just think how and where you want to start advertising and just have that money together and ready to rock and roll okay you need a logo i got you i'll put some links or some information down below so that you can click on it and get the ball rolling get you started on your logo and there you go you in there um you'll need uh You'll probably need letterheads and all that type of stuff to go out. So that's just some common or simple ideas or things that you'll need for a business. And that's everything that a graphic designer can do. So those are like minimal ways of advertising your business cards and all of that type of stuff. So again, look in the description bar. There's some helpful resources and helpful tools to help you to get yourself started or get your feet wet anyway. So that you can go ahead and get that ball rolling, okay? Um... So let's go over everything again, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is a state or resident insurance. You'll also need a error and omissions license. This is just a rough draft or a idea to kind of get you, you know, motivated and thinking outside of the box and thinking on another level, you know. So um, I'm sorry, I'm not into insurance, at least not yet, but I'm on my way there, okay? <laughs> no, but I mean, it's just to help you, okay, to kind of get your mind going and get some things flowing in that brain to make you think outside of the box a little. So I'm sorry if um, I don't have everything together for you, but it's enough to get you started that's for sure um let's talk about some of the obstacles you may or may not face when it comes to running your own insurance company or your own automobile company i'm sorry your own automobile insurance company making sure that you have enough money okay you have to have the funds available like i said to pay for the claims if there are any to reimburse if you have reimbursement costs um to make sure that you are financially stable and able to 
take care of home and also take care of the business okay and again you can cut costs by doing this online and not necessarily getting a building or having an office space you know because that's additional funds that's lights that's water um and that's the building so just think about doing it online okay always as you know there's always going to be room for error okay um you live and you learn it's going to be a, it's going to be based on what you know and what you don't know okay so i advise you to do your own research and continue your search and just get as much information as you can to make sure that you're on top of it and to make sure that you understand everything that's required or that's necessary to get your business up and running as an automobile insurance agency okay another thing that you want to keep in mind or to think about is credit okay um a lot of times when we call in to get quotes the first thing they ask for is a social security number and that's because they're running our credit and want to know where our where our numbers stand and what we look like and what we can and cannot afford so um you want to look into some ways or some avenues of how you want to base your payment plans or how you want to make your payments um or how you want your plans to be purchased and what they're going to cost and how much it'll cost you and how much it'll cost your customer. So keep that in mind as well. Okay. And basically that's all it is to it. Okay. Again, it's just all about planning and doing your research and making sure that you stay afloat on top of all of the regulations and requirements um, when it comes to state regulations and rules each state is different so it is up to you to go out and investigate and make sure that you can find out all of the ins and outs when it comes to being licensed and insured in your particular state i hope that this information was helpful and i hope to hear one of you guys come back and say hey i'm about to run this you know <laughs> that would be nice like that would be awesome it would be so cool um just think about it having your own insurance agency and you can pass it down to your kids your kids can pass it down to their kids like it's just something that's above and beyond the norm you know what i mean so it's just thinking outside of the box again um if you don't need this information you know that's fine share it with somebody who you think would be a great insurance agent okay thank you guys as always and i appreciate your time your love and your support and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will talk to you guys later Bye bye